Hello everyone, Canagraphs here, and uh, so most of you know the set sale for wardrobe for the Flash is going on right now. Um, I'm done for today. I am wiped out. In fact, I want to sleep so bad that you have no idea. Uh, but I uh, trudged through there. Day one, some small wins, some not so much. Um, I didn't find a single item from the uh, actress side of the roster. All I got was from the men's side of the roster, but I got some interesting things. And we're gonna look at some of those right now. We're gonna start off. One thing I found a lot of, the thing I found the most of was Cisco shirts. There was a lot of Cisco shirts and some of the fun ones were there too. Like this one here. I will, in the notations for this video, put what episodes I know which ones are from. There's a couple things I don't know, but I will hopefully by the time I do the video. Oh, we have one that's not a Cisco shirt. Uh, if anyone knows which character that's from, if you, if you guys are having trouble remembering who it is, that's uh, Jaco Birch when he came back. Remember he no longer was wearing Kiss shirts, he was wearing shirts for lips. Another Cisco shirt. Oh, here's one everyone's gonna be interested in. No idea which character wore it, but found the one and only Star Lab shirt anyone saw there. I talked to three or four other people, no one had seen another one. So I got the only Star Lab shirt that seems to be out there. I know this one. This one he also gave away. That one I know he gave to Joe. This is the shirt he gave to Joe. Uh, guys, I, I had to. This is just too classic. Here's Kitty. Also, on the cat theme. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of my top five, like, ones I wanted to find. All right, we're going to get into a couple of shirts. Um, I know this is someone's, I think it's Barry's. Was it Barry's? Just nod your head. Yeah, okay. This is a Barry shirt. I just can't remember from what episode. I'll have to look it up later. Um, my cameraman remembers, but I don't. Uh, another shirt. Also probably Barry, considering the color tone. One thing about him is he did have a lot of the uh, dark red slash light purple color ones. All right, this one, I believe is a Captain Cold shirt. The uh, shoulder things on the shoulder was what gave me that idea when I saw it because I remember seeing it. So I looked and the design matched. But, so, on my tablet, it didn't label my photos the way I labeled them. It just showed me the photo. So. I cropped in on the design, so I didn't see whose face is in the shirt, but I'm pretty sure it's a Captain Cold shirt. <laughs> and I had one more Barry shirt. Uh, where's the buttons for this? Jeez. All right, we have this Barry shirt. And then I found a pair of shoes, and I looked at the color design, and I'm like, I wonder if those could be Barry's. And then on the inside of the tongue, uh, other side, of course, it's always the side you don't pick. You can barely see it. It's really hard to see, but it says there, number one berry. So, yeah. I have one more item. This is the main thing I got today. I spent more on this than I did on four of those shirts. This was in their premium section. They had a section that was cordoned off, you actually had to go in there, get a wristband to go in, and you had to leave once you were in there. Um, all the items in there were extra expensive, but this one was worth it. Oh, there's the receipt, I should keep that. <laughs> the jacket from Constantine from the crossover. 
that was the best find I had today. The only great find. The other ones are okay, but this was the only great find I had to, in the day. And I had to spend four times as much for this as, than I did anything else. So that is it for day one. That's it. And I will let you know about the other stuff whenever that happens. Uh, thanks again, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hello there everyone, it is Canada Graphs again for the day two finds at the sale. I only found four items there, um, if you saw my post earlier on Patreon you already know that, but uh, I will show you what I found, and I have my tablet here so I can actually pull up the scenes, although one of them I don't have uh, on the tablet, I still have that on the computer because it's from my scrap pile. First item up, we'll start with the iris items, we got this sweater which is from episode 616 I actually had the common sense of labeling them when I went to the sale this time so I knew who I was looking at because the day before I didn't have them labeled and my computer or my tablet doesn't label anything for me so I had to know which ones I was looking at so that was one of the items I got so this is a cool one Assuming I find an actual iris fan that actually uh, still will buy for me. <laughs> iris jacket. Got this like thing on the shoulder that tells you. And fun fact, not all of the not all of the things always come labeled. Uh, this one's actually uh, labeled uh, number four iris, which number four is her number on the call sheet. Um, I don't remember who was second and third. I think Jesse L. Martin is second, but I can't even say I remember that for sure right now. Might have been Tom Cavanaugh. I can't remember. This jacket here, it doesn't show up very well with the reflection. There we go. That's about the best I can do. So yeah, that jacket, you can see the thingy up on the shoulder here that I showed you. Move over to a berry shirt. Um, I think it's this one, but I can barely tell because of the light out here. You probably can't tell very well either, but the pattern that's supposed to be on the shirt is on this shirt, but I can't even see it, so I don't know how you can. Yeah, it is that shirt. Um, I can zoom in a little maybe. Is there a way to brighten this? I should have figured this out beforehand, eh? Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it better. Maybe I will show that screen cap um, together with the video when I post this. I don't know. And then the fourth one, I don't have that, this screen cap on here because I had trimmed down the amount of images I had on here for day two to make it less overwhelming. But I knew this one as soon as I saw it, and then it was also confirmed because it is labeled on the inside number one. Um, this is another berry shirt. I don't know the episode off the top of my head, um, but I know it's in my database of all my images that are up on my computer. So that's uh, my day two finds. Um, good news is I did learn some stuff while I was there, like how they label stuff now. And I wish I'd had a larger budget uh, yesterday. So a couple things happened comedy of errors happened that put me in a position where I couldn't buy much stuff. Um, so I have two cards. I have my out of the house go around and use when I go places card and then I have my card that I only use for online purchases. That's the only time I use it. Um, but I was willing to use it for this sale as a backup card. I didn't bring it with me. So I only had the one card. Now that one card should have had more money on it, but I screwed that up when I transferred all my PayPal money on uh, Saturday morning to my bank account, but used the regular way. To, there's a regular way, and then there's an instant way, which they charge you a small fee for. I meant to click the, the uh, instant way to have it there, and I did not, so it's showing up. Pro it's probably in my account right now, but didn't do me any good at the sale. So I went to the sale with literally a $100 budget. So pulling those four items for $100, I was pretty happy about. And yeah, um, 
next week I will be more organized as far as knowing how the system works. I also, I know some, uh, some of the women are going to laugh at me. Uh, being a guy, obviously I don't necessarily know this stuff, but I terribly, terribly overestimated the sizes on women. I thought of it as in the mindset of how men's sizes are. So like, Danielle's a very tall woman. Candace is an average to slightly above average uh, size woman. They're, I'm a slightly above average size guy and I take a XL and when I was younger an L. So I thought they would be a medium or a large. That's apparently not how sizes work for women at all. So all the time I spent on day one looking for things, I was looking in the medium and large section, was wasted. Uh, both of those iris items are excesses. I don't know how women's sizes work. That's what I found out. <laughs> anyway, these items are obviously up for sale now. So, yeah. Um, if you have any other people you want me to look for, because I'm only really focusing on the four mains, which is Barry, Cisco, Caitlin, Iris. I saw some Joe items. I saw a Ralph Gibney jacket. I saw a couple of Wally shirts. But I'm focusing, like, especially yesterday because I had such a tight budget, I'm only really focusing on the main four. If there is someone else you want me to look for, you have to let me know. I really need you to let me know in advance who that might be, and I'll try and look for those. Anyways, that's it for this one. Uh, I considered yesterday a victory, considering I only had a $100 budget. And I, so actually had like $111 or something like that, but uh, I spent exactly $100.80 yesterday, and I was like, whew, that was close. Like if one item had been $10 more, I might not have been able to afford it. So I actually consider yesterday as a bit of a success. All right, that's it. Uh, sale again next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So it's a four-day sale next week. So hopefully I pull out some more good items from that. But, you know, selection's been picked through already. I even noticed that yesterday. I'm like, you know, there's definitely been some picking through. So we'll see. But that's it. I will see you in the future. Bye.